नमस्ते व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू ज्ञान देगोला चैनल यूट्यूब चैनल इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अस्त्रास वार वेपनरी व्हिच हैड मैसिव पावर्स इन देम मैसिव डिस्ट्रक्टिव पावर्स व्हिच वर बीइंग यूज्ड इन द अर्लियर डेज a mention of these astras one can find in mahabharata ramayana and other texts puranic texts you can find lot of such weaponry which had some unique features in them like you know uh, targeting a particular uh, uh, particular targets and then leaving other targets such kinds of things and then mass hypnotizing uh, or mass uh, like you know hypnotizing uh, characteristics of astras so many of these kinds of uh, um, like you know devastating powers they had so in this video we will look at what is called as vasavi shakti this is one of the astras which was being used which is Uh, described in our uh, literature but how it worked and all those things of course there is lot of debate going many people debate that uh, it might not be there it's only a pick up in my uh, imagination and then uh, it might not be actually it might not have been used that apart uh, the concept itself is so uh, like you know enchanting and so uh, Uh, like uh, it's uh, the concept itself is uh, beautiful how we how they got this kind of ideas and all those things even if you think that it is in imagination now we'll see what vasavi shakti is before that hindu mythology the concept of astras introduces us to a realm of supernatural weaponry possessing incredible powers vasavi shakti is one such this was a very divine weapon which was being wielded used by indra the god of uh, indra is considered to be the god of weather rain thunder thunderbolt and then uh, all these kinds of uh, things related to rain the vasavi shakti is notable for its unique attributes that each one of them has got some unique uh, properties each shakti each uh, astra has got some unique properties and uh, it has got lot of stories behind this also this vasavi shakti is often regarded as the second most powerful weapon in the arsenal of indra now the first one is the legendary vajrayudha indra's thunderbolt vajrayudha which was made from dadichi's uh, backbone that was the thing and it had Uh, it could give a, uh, a death blow to any kind of uh, uh, any kind of uh, warrior any warrior who, whoever it is that was the uh, power of that vajrayudha next next only to vajrayudha was this vasavi or it is called a sarpastra also we may call it as sarpastra also and the thing is it can be invoked only once to target a uh, person or to or to, uh, to have a target you can invoke through mantra you can give a direction to the target say this is the target it should go and then hit and once you fix the target you uh, you are not supposed to you cannot change the targets that was the condition of this uh, astra that vasavi astra or you call it uh, sometimes many people call it as sarpastra and once you let it it guarantees 
the destruction. It guarantees the death of that target. It guarantees the complete annihilation of that target, making it a weapon of ultimate destruction. There's no question of uh, uh, it will ultimately it will destroy. The story of Vasavi Shakti is very enchanting. Vasavi Shakti's most renowned appearance is in Mahabharata during the great Kurukshetra war. Thank you, madam. Thank you. This Karna, a valiant warrior and central character in this epic, was bestowed with this Vasavi, that Sarpasra, by Lord Indra himself. Karna's unparalleled loyalty and generosity had moved Indra and he was so pleased and who wished to offer Karna a powerful weapon. This tragic use of Ghatodgaja, Karna's loyalty to his friend Duryodhana led him to employ the Vasavi Shakti against Ghatodgaja. Ghatodgaja was just, um, he was, um, he was unleashing his power like anything. So he had to control him. And so he had to kill him. Therefore, Karna used this particular uh, Vasavi Astra against Ghatodgaja, Ghatodgaja, son of Bhima, and a formidable warrior fighting on the side of Pandavas. Ghatodgaja possessed tremendous strength and magical abilities, making him a potent force in the battlefield. In a critical gesture of war, Karna used the Vasavi Shakti against Ghatodgaja, knowing that its use was irreversible. Once used, it's over. That's all. That was kind of uh, asra. The Vasavi Shakti's devastating power led to the unfortunate demise of Ghatodgaja. He was killed. This event carries both the tragedy of sacrifice and the inevitability of consequences as Karna was left weaponless for the reminder of the war during the weapon's unique nature. See, Ghatodgaja was very strong and then he was just fighting like Hell, he was uh, showering hell on everybody. And he had to be controlled. But this particular weapon, he had reserved for somebody else. Karna had reserved it for to be used against Arjuna. But unfortunately, this had to be used against Ghatodgaja. And Ghatodgaja was killed. But alas, Karna lost one important and most... Uh, um, formidable and most uh, like you know devastating weapon which which he wanted to use it against Arjuna. The story of Vasavi Shakti or Sarpasra and its use underscores themes of fate, sacrifice and the complex choices that characters face in the midst of epic conflicts. Viewers, with this explanation on this Vasavi Shakti, the arsenal the Astra Vasavi Shakti. <coughs> we, <coughs> we close this video and then we request you to share, subscribe and then comment on the uh, video, what this video and then please subscribe to our videos. Thank you viewers. Thank you once again. Like, share and subscribe.